Okay, uh, working on the uh, Reaver Project 221 Ford machine in the main. Just finishing up the uh, number four main here. I got a sweep across, but I got her pretty close to finish size there. I already did the rear main. Obviously, you got the rest to go. So, we got our storm grinder dialed in, and we're putting her to work. Okay, got the mains all turned on our 221 Ford small block crank. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this neural off the rear main seal surface. See those little lines in there? Uh, this is actually the wrong rotation. Um, this is going to be a right-hand rotation engine, so the seal will have serrations in it. So if we spin this crankshaft the opposite direction, it's going to throw oil out instead of in. So, and in this engine, it had a rear seal put in it, and they had an automotive seal on it, and it looked like it was leaking. So, uh, this measures 3 inch 625, 3 and 5 eighths. So, this is probably only a couple three thousandths in here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that out, and um, it'll leave no knurl on there. And then the knurl on the new rubber seal instead of the rope should work just fine. The rear seal surface. So. Turned out awesome. Took about eight and a half, nine thousand off to get it off, but that's not gonna hurt anyone with that rubber seal. She'll uh, she'll seal good. So now off to the rods. That's our next venture. Okay, grinding the rod journals on our 221 Ford crank. Uh, you can see how the crank is revolving around this specific rod journal here. So you set the stroke elevation uh, on these chucks which on this crankshaft is uh, two inch 870. So just a 5 thousandths under two and three eighths. You know, Ford V8s notoriously have been short stroke engines. So um, I got about 5 thousandths to go here. I got the steady rest adjusted pretty square. We'll take her down to adjust the speed dial here a little bit. Easy does it. Zero is the target size. Good. Keep putting pressure on the steady rest here. As we, of course, I'm not grinding on where the steady rest is, but it's very important. Now we grind around the journal. about half to go like right about there and we'll back away and I'm gonna come in and plunge on the side that's not ground so see the side that is ground damn good Yeah. So we'll come in here and idea we'll take this close to that's a steady rest I'm grinding on where the steady rest is so I gotta adjust this so. all right I'll finish her up I can I need two hands so bye bye camera all right just got done grinding this rod journal to size it turned out really really nice Turn it around there. 
So yes, uh, I think we're getting her getting her dialed in here. Looks really good. There's a lot of setup to this thing. Got your stroke and wheel here. A little dial in there, and it's hard to see, but you know, side to side, there's all kinds of stuff. But uh, again, I've, I've got a smaller wheel than the length of the journal, so you know the theory here is when you plunge grind, you come in here, go about half to go, then I run the wheel over to the left side of the journal, run that into size, and then sweep across uh, to see if it's parallel. So, but pretty good stuff. Looks good. Got one more to go. Okay, I wanna go over the setup um, on rod journals. Um, it's pretty interesting, you know, if you think about it, you know, we gotta grind the stroke. Well, you know, obviously this rod journal is not in center with the mains. So we have to adjust the chucks. And how we do that is on this particular machine, there is a little arrow there. See, it's right below the three. Well, those are lines are an eighth. So uh, in an earlier video, I said the stroke of this crankshaft was two inch 870. So I adjust that to get it close and then I check it with a dial. So both chucks are adjusted to two inch 870. And then what we got to do is we have to, since I don't have two mating journals, I don't have two journals that are the same, uh, like a four cylinder, for instance, like I've got this uh, 181 crankshaft here. You know, I've got two marine, uh, this, this journal and this journal are together. That's a little bit easier to deal with because I can actually grind both those on the same setup, uh, just like this one and this one, you know. So that's uh, on a crankshaft that has mating journals. Well, a lot of V8 engines, they don't have mating journals, you know, so you have to uh, index each one. So what we do is since these chucks are raised up, you know, that's... So this chuck is off center to the machine. I don't know if you can kind of see that, that it's higher, higher up. But anyway, uh, we put the rod journal at bottom dead center because we want to offset the chuck. So we're going to go ahead and get this eyeball kind of close and then we're going to tighten the uh, chucks. Well, an issue when you do this is you create a bunch of counterweight, you know. So usually what I've been doing I just bring it so it just touches. And we get it set up so we can see it. And that one rod journal is about 12. So I'll go ahead and tighten this up. And I'm gonna tighten this tighter with no hands, but. All right. So the other thing we have is when you have all this weight, I'll engage it, is we have to counterweight it. So, you know, when you have all this weight off center, you know, that creates, it creates an issue. So we have to have a way to counterbalance that. Otherwise this thing's gonna shake off the table, you know. So that's what this is. This is a big counterweight that's on each end and we adjust these. I got the cover off just to show you. So we move this weight up. See how far up it's moved. We move that up to counteract the chuck because the chuck's up. So that way this thing spins, you know, pretty, see how it doesn't roll? If I touch it, it stays put. That's, that's balanced pretty well. And this is, this is a feel thing. So if we don't do this right, this could screw up the grinding and everything else. So Let's check our indexing here real quick. So there's, there's two things in play here. You've got the actual stroke of the crankshaft, which is right here, okay? 90 degrees, that, that's, the, that's the top of the journal. That's my stroke, okay? So now this should not have changed because I've got the chuck set up from the previous three journals, so this should all be the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and see my indicator's already on zero. I didn't have to touch it from the previous job. So let's rotate this 180 degrees. Let's look at the bottom of this journal. All right, and again, pretty, get her pretty close. And see, I'm positive one, 1,000 saw from the stroke, that's nothing. 
So technically this crank is gonna have 1,000th less stroke uh, on this hole. But you know what we do is we split the difference across the crank. So if I check this one, we check another one, we split it up. That way we grind everything pretty close to the same. You know, Again, we're not Rick Hendrick here. This isn't Robert Yates, I'm Chris Hammond. Uh, we're just trying to go to Kelly's Island, get a beer, put in bay and get some drinks and shit. So that's all we're trying to do here. We don't build race stuff. So, you know, thousands or two isn't gonna do anything. So, but now let's check our side to side. So our side to side right there, all right, is, let's, let's zero our indicator here. I'm gonna tell you this is gonna be way off. I can tell by looking at it. So I'm gonna run this over. See, I'm off a mile, all right. So I need to adjust the crankshaft in the chucks is what I'm gonna do to get this uh, square. So I'll be back after commercial break. Okay, we're back after commercial break. Um, I loosened the chucks and rotated the crankshaft a little bit uh, to, get, to give my adjustment uh, adjustment. So these little dials here, uh, this is my index trim. So in other words, we can be out two ways here, as I was saying before. So the stroke is right here, obviously, the top, the top of the journal, okay? Or you have side to side or index, which is this way, okay? And that's what I'm set up to check now. So, you know, I got my chuck right here. So we will uh, zero our indicator. All right. I'm gonna rotate this 180 degrees and let's see where we're at. See, not bad, about what, six? Damn lights are bright, you can't see. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna trim this, quote unquote. So I'm gonna turn these dials just a little bit in and then let's recheck the index. Okay, now that's gonna change my dial. Let's see where we're at. Didn't change it hardly at all, see? So we'll, change, we'll rotate it again. See, it hardly moved just that little bit. So let's zero our indicator. So I'm, I'm on index, see the chuck. So let's see what we got here. I'll rotate the crankshaft. See, dead nuts, that's perfect. Let's double check our stroke. So I'm gonna rotate this, so there's the top side of my stroke. All right, so we'll zero our indicator. Let's check bottom. And we're right about four where we were. So um, basically the strokes between the journals were about 8,000 soft, which is not uncommon. Um, stuff's 50, 60 years old, you know, who knows how well it was machined then. Not to say that I'm better, but, um, cause I'm probably not, but the issue here is we split the difference. So, uh, I have it set to four thousands, you know, so now we'll have all these journals will be the exact same stroke. You know, like I say, three, four thousand isn't gonna do anything. Um, so this thing is ready to grind. So that's a crash course on indexing it in, getting the journal, specifically a rod journal, which is tougher because we've got to deal with the stroke. Uh, main journal, you don't have to deal with the stroke. We just put these chucks on centers and uh, we just rock and roll and we can nail all the mains at one time. Well, like I said, since this crankshaft does not have mating journals, we have to do this for uh, each journal. So that's a crash course on how to index it in the machine which is probably one of the most important parts, you know, getting it set up right, because if it's not set up right, you're gonna grind it wrong and it ain't gonna be right. So uh, this is the most important part of this setup. So uh, we'll put the steady rest on it and we'll start grinding.